What a show in our skies this morning. Oh, early, yeah. early, early this morning. Did you set your alarm to see it? I didn't get a chance no? to see it. Nope, I was oh. still sleeping. But luckily, we have the video to show you. But we're yes. talking about the longest <laughs> lunar eclipse in 580 years. It's quite special. Yes. So this is overnight video you're seeing here from the Griffith Observatory. So lunar eclipses can be lengthy. This one clocked in at about six hours. That's how long it took. Hitting peak at around one o'clock in the morning. That's probably why most of you were sleeping. But lunar eclipses happen when Earth slips between the sun and the moon. The moon typically darkens and it turns a little reddish. Unlike with the solar eclipses, you do not need to wear those protective uh, glasses or eyewear when watching a lunar eclipse. I'm sorry I missed it in real time, but thankfully we have these videos, yeah. right, where we could check it out. And Belen's on top of it. She's got a lot of people out there who take pictures for her too, right, Belen? Yeah, some <laughs> contributors. And guys, I got a quiz for you. Why was it the longest eclipse that we've had in um, almost 600 years? Because the moon was the furthest point from the Earth. Oh, nice. I was How did you know that? <laughs> I was did you give him a study sheet? <laughs> you get a gold Cheating. star, Adrian. <laughs> I googled it real that quick. That was not on the study <laughs> guideline. So the moon was an apogee. It's furthest distance away from the Earth in its orbit, so it took longer to go around the Earth. That happens, hasn't happened since 1440. That's the reason why this eclipse was so special. And speaking of, uh, I know it's really hard to see west of the mountains, but we got some good pictures up in the high desert. More aid photography. Muchas gracias. Thank you so much. He snapped this picture of the full moon, which is a beaver moon in November, and also when it was eclipsed. Now, it turns this red hue color because the sunlight is being filtered through the Earth's atmosphere, and it casts that color on the moon. Thank you so much for sharing your pictures. You can use that hashtag NBCLA if you want to see your pictures here with us, or tag me at BelenNBCLA.